for our life. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. You came to call sinners, Christ's home. seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. And Almighty God bless us and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give Thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. On earth, peace, on earth, peace, to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. Glory of God, the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Let us pray. O oh God, who are without beginning or end, the source of all creation, grant us to live this new year whose beginning we dedicate to you, that we may abound in good things and be resplendent with the works of holiness. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Thiên Chúa còn phán, hãy có những vật sáng trên vòm trời và hãy phân chia ngày và đêm và trở thành dấu chỉ thời gian, ngày và năm tháng để soi sáng trên vòm trời và giải sáng mặt đất. Và đã xảy ra như vậy. Thiên Chúa đã làm nên hai vầng sáng lớn. Vầng sáng lớn hơn làm chủ ban ngày và vầng sáng nhỏ hơn làm chủ ban đêm. Và Ngài cũng làm nên các tinh tú. Thiên Chúa đặt chúng trên vòm trời để soi sáng trên mặt đất và làm chủ ngày đêm và phân chia ánh sáng với tối tăm. Thiên Chúa thấy tốt đẹp. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us be glad and rejoice. 
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Colossians. 弟兄们,你们该如天主所拣选的 你们也要怎样宽恕人，在这一切以上，有该有爱德，因为爱德是全德的联系，还要叫基督的平安在你们心中做主。你们所以蒙召存在于一个身体内，也是如此。所以你们该有感恩之心。要让基督的话充分的存在你们内, 一切都该因主耶稣的名而做。借着他感谢天主圣父。The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what will you wear. Is it not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns. Yes, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more important than them? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothing? Learn the way of the wild flower growth. They do not work or spin. But I tell you that even Solomon, in all his splendor, was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which grow today and is thrown in the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you? Oh, you are little faith. So do not worry or say, what are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to eat? 
or to wear. All these things pagans seek. Your heavenly Father know that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all things will be given to you. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. The Gospel of the Lord. We all look so serious, are we? I myself getting so nervous, has been priest for some time, but come to celebrate the new year here, it kicked in in me. Anyhow, I have learned from the Baltimore Catechism during my childhood, we said, we are created to know, to love, and to serve God. I remember that from very young age. And that is the fundamental purpose of our human life, isn't it? Our parents, our teachers, has lived in that principle throughout their life and has taught us by their example of faith. All the reading of today, the celebration of death, are getting toward to that principle. And I would like to share with you my thoughts of how this New Year celebration illustrates the spirits of that faith. The first reading clearly indicates to us that all God created is good. And that the whole creation is what makes for us to know God. Knowledge of God leads us to love God. And the love of God impels us to love and to serve God in our brothers and sisters. The second reading affirms that we are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved. Therefore, to love God and others is the core of our existence, of our being. The gospel lay out an outstanding human response to that unconditional love of God. That is to put our complete trust in God's loving care and providence for our life. Allow me to share with you how that principle had worked in my life and hopefully, you may see how it's worked in yours as well, in the, light, in the light of the scripture today. I always remember my grandfather always taught me that what happened yesterday, what happened last year, is already in the hands of God. You can do nothing about it. And what happened today and tomorrow and this new year is also in the hands of God. So, he said, stop worrying about life, what to eat and what to wear. But look how beautiful the sisters are today. I think they worry too. I'm not so sure. <laughs> and to learn to trust in God all things, this sounds like a, a circling argument. But it is evidently true isn't it? To speak about the truth of this, allow me to share a story of mine. I was born in Vietnam and during the Vietnam War and grew up right in the middle of the battlefield in the northern central part of Vietnam. My childhood memories were filled with sadness and losses. However, 
one of the most memorial events was always the celebration of the Lunar New Year. Admit of in the difficulties, the challenges of life, we always found comfort in the knowledge of God and in God's provident cares and conditional love for us. It's what evident in our lives that God planted in our heart a desire to know God, and God also provides grace so that we can cultivate and nurture that desire to love God in and through all circumstances of our life. We also always found the assurance of the unbounded love of God amid of hatred, evil, uncertainty, and chaos, and in the ambiguities of I remember clearly Tet uh, Offensive of 1972, the Zodiac of the rat. Many of you wasn't born that yet. I was eight years old. We were enjoying the dragon dance in the church after the Thanksgiving Mass. And suddenly, the sound of warning siren was heard. And quickly, we hide ourselves in the basement of the church for at least two hours. And you know what happened? After that tra traumatic experience, we continue to celebrate the new year. We come out dancing, singing, eating. It seemed like nothing had happened. The spirit of a new year, the enthusiastic life force of this newness, the courage and hope of the new beginning that generate from this New Year event took away all our fears, even death, and allowed us to embrace the authenticity or the audacity of our life. My dear brothers and sisters, and we come together today in this beautiful, peaceful chapel to celebrate the Lunar New Year in Vietnam, it is called the zodiac of the cat, like a sister son had mentioned before. But in Chinese, it is called the zodiac of the rabbit. And my heart is filled with wonders and awe. Deep down in my heart, there is a sense of profound trust in God's unconditional love. And God's all-surpassing providence for our lives in this new year. The scripture reminding us that your heavenly father knows what your needs are. What more can we expect? It is an awesome feeling to know that God knows our needs more than we ourselves know them. All we need to do is to continue to discover who is this Heavenly Father is to us, and to cultivate that relationship with Him and with God, and to love and serve God with all our heart and our mind. It is an awesome feeling to see that the spirit of Lunar New Year is shared by all of us present here. As God's children gathering around this beautiful place. We come from different walks of life, from different cultures, languages, from all corners of the world, and carrying within ourselves different hopes and dreams. We are one stranger, and yet we are now sisters and brothers. We speak different languages, eat different food, think differently. But we share the same audacity of life and that God is a God of providence. 
and loved. And God knows what our needs are. How wonderful it is about our God, who constantly endeavors to unite us. Look, the gift of internationality all around us is a great evidence and visible sign of the reign of God here at the Divine World College. How awesome it is that we come together, love, and serve this awesome God. I keep amazing my soul since I came here last year to this college to witness your generous response to, the God, to God's invitation to build and to cultivate this visible reality of God's family here in this special place we call home. We are here to fulfill our hopes and dreams, but most importantly, to seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all things will be given to us accordingly. Seeking the reign of God here in this place is also, it seems to me, a phenomena, a wonder, a miracle, isn't it? I cannot, but, I cannot stop but wonder where else should I be but here because of God's providence, because of God's love that we are here together seeking the reign of God and making the kingdom of God become a reality in our midst. We all know that the deepest desire of God, our Heavenly Father, is that we are one as we pray during this week of unity. To me, unity is the heart of God, the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And it's the, in, his, in his loving arms of the Holy Trinity, we find peace, hope, and love. What had happened yesterday is in the hand of God. What will be happening now and what happening in the future is also in the hands of God. Our tasks then become very simple. To know, to love, and to serve God. Wherever we find ourselves in our journey, whatever we do in our life, or whatsoever the hope and dreams that we might have, we may carry in our heart and our mind. The desire of our longing, the longing of our heart, is to know, to love, and to serve God. In these early moments of the Lunar New Year, the new spring of peace, we come to share the Eucharist, the sacrament of God's loving care and providence. We are also called to reform, refocus our vision, to embrace the audacity of our life around this principle of life. Everything else will come in its place, and we will find peace, tranquility, prosperity, happiness, faith, and hope that God never fails to provide what we need. Happy New Year to all. May the strength, the fortitude, the resilience of the cat be ours during this year as we together seek out to build the kingdom of God here at this Divine World College. May we always put our trust in the loving care of God who know better than we are. And chúc mừng năm mới and Happy New Year to all.
stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, make of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. <coughs> For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered dead and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, thanksgiving is the sentiment that we want to offer to God in the sacred moment of early spring. With love and trust, let us ask the Almighty God, our Father, to accompany us in this whole year. For the church, chúng ta cùng cầu xin Chúa cho giáo hội hoàng vũ được cảm nghiệm sự bình an và hiệp nhất trong năm mới này. Nhờ đó, đoàn chiên Chúa được ngày càng lớn mạnh và trở nên chứng tá sống động cho Chúa khi sống theo tin mừng phúc âm. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace and justice. N'a demandé yon fin nan violence ki ap komet pa parol pi man bouk, zam mortel e mauvais indifférence. C'est pour foye nou yo, nation nou an, ak tout pey nan le monde, vin tounen yon bon plas pou la pe. Let us pray to the Lord. For vocation. So say, Catholic Wang, Etum Nesso, Kepa Ephim Linde, Mbaba Kwabat and Bachale, Fadana, Sisana, and Tala. Let us pray to the Lord. For the poor and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, faculty, staff, and benefactors. That the God of Springs may grant good health and peace to each one of us, our families, faculty, staff, and benefactors in this new year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord eternal spring, 
Please accept the sincere prayers of our community and grant us all a peaceful new year. Fill with your grace so that no matter where we are, we still do not forget to share God's joy and peace with all around us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. O oh Lord, God of spring, on this sacred first day of Lunar New Year, we come before you in humility, offering our springtime gifts of love and gratitude as a mere expression of our gratitude for all that you have done for us. Flowers, candles, fruits, chung cake, timepieces, books, bread, and wine as symbols of our most humble New Year wishes and our desire to honor and glorify you. Lord, we humbly ask for your wisdom and guidance in our daily lives, work, studies, and in every moment of our lives. May this new year be filled with your love and grace. Mùa 
Pray, my brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrificial gifts we offer you, O Lord, be acceptable in your eyes, O Lord, so that all of us who celebrate with joy the beginning of the new year, may for the rest of this course be worthy to live in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels, archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. With our end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, O Sana in the highest, blessed is he. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord. O Son in the highest, O Son in the highest, O Son You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, this gift we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <coughs> when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle and glorious martyrs, St. Arnold Jensen, St. Joseph Phenatimus, blessed Helena, SVD martyrs, and with all the saints on whom constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing hope. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we prayed, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your Purim Church on earth with your servant, Benedict our Pope, Francis our Pope, and Michael our Bishop, the Order of Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire God's people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, O Lord, whom you have summoned before you. By your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, our SVD, who has passed away in this year. And to all who were blessing to you at this passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
dear brothers and sisters, at the beginning of the new year, God inviting us always to realize our life on the God who loves us unconditionally. Together, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. <coughs> Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we are of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grants her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's take a moment to offer one another the signs of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And may the receiving of the Holy Communion bring us everlasting life. The uh, the holy blood here, both sides, if you so design to come forward. Thank you. 
在我心房，我要永远永远赞美我的主，请救主永活在我心Let us pray. O oh God, draw near to the peoples who had known the sacred mysteries that throughout this year no dangers may afflict. Those who always trust in your providence, care, and protection through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. So good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I would like to say Happy New Year again. Chúc mừng năm mới. Happy New Year. <coughs> I am Hung Nguyen, the president of the Vietnamese Student Association. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the year of CAT. Mm -hmm. As we know, Tet is the first day of the year in the lunar calendar. Everyone is looking forward to see a happy and peaceful life for the new year. Tet is the time for us to look back and recognize the blessings that God had granted us. Moreover, it is a time
to give ourselves a chance to become a new version of the meaning of New Year. After praising God in the Thanksgiving Mass for Lunar New Year celebration, now it is time for us to say thanks to others due to their support, teaching, guidance, befriending, and nourishment in many different ways. So at this time, I would like to ask all of you to turn around, to say thank you to all of, of, uh, to, to, to the people. Um, thank, you, you. thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, too, brother. Thank you for being in our life. Thank you. Thank you, Hun. Dear fathers, faculties, staff, and beloved guests, as the children in a family, we students appreciate what you have done for us in various ways. We wish you abundant blessings in New Year. May God help and grant your entire wish in New Year. And dear, my beloved fathers, brothers, and sisters, we ask God to grant all of the students a successful year in your study. May God continue to strengthen and guide you to live with God's wills so that you will fulfill your mission here at the Divine Word College. And now, I think all of us waiting for this. We cannot lack of this part of the New Year celebration. It's called Lisi. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Yeah. So each person will receive an envelope that includes the word of God. Lucky money, a lucky ticket, and a ticket for game. Yay. That we will do for the Lunar New Year celebration in the gym. After Mass, I uh, would like to ask you to give us around five to 10 minutes. And uh, just you can stay here, take a picture around this, or you can go to the dining room uh, to sit and uh, just drink water or something. Be because <laughs> we, need, we need time for deliver food to the gym. So we appreciate it. So in this time, I would like to invite Father Simon, Father Jim Bergen, Father Tom, and the Father Tang Hua. We will have the envelope to everyone. Thank you so much. And chúc mừng năm mới again. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, two in front and two on the other side. I go to the back. You go to the back. Uh, went to bless. <laughs> Antang, Antang. Uh, the sister is suggesting that we uh, have final blessing before we passing on. Uh, may I invite all the priests to come up, uh, stand up, and we blessing our community. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our message is not ended, but go in peace. <laughs> now please come forward for the Lisi, and then they're going to sing the song at the entrance song. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.
Can we have a group photo in front of the altar server, please? Uh, altar, please. I invite all of us to uh, come forward in front of the altar, and then we have a group photo together. <laughs> <laughs> 